What up, what up, what up, my boy C Gang? Cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktail. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Comedian Michael Allen. As you can see, I'm doing some braised oxtails today. Look how big those oxtails are. I wish I had had them cut them down a little bit more, but these as good as only me. So, now I'm gonna season these oxtails. I'm gonna use some steak seasoning, and I'm gonna season them liberally. Liberally, so they got a good old, good old flavor to them. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of seasoning. That was some steak seasoning. I'm putting a little bit of seasoning salt on here. I'm putting a little bit of pepper. I'm putting some tropical sazon on here. They're gonna have a good flavor to them. Some soul food seasoning. Some MSG, which is nothing but accent. I'm going to put some all, I mean some complete seasoning. This is my go-to seasoning. I use this on everything. Chicken, pork chop, anything I use that on. I put quite a bit of that on there. Now I'm going to put a little bit of garlic salt. I usually use garlic powder, but I was, I was out of garlic powder. So I'm going to use some garlic salt. Then I'm going to use a thing of sasson, which me and Eat with Philly Phil, this is what we die, we live by. Did I just say die and live by? Okay. And last but not least, I'm going to put a little Worcestershire sauce on here. So a couple of dabs. All right. Now I'm going to mix all this together. Yes, you got to rub it in. What I always say, you got to play with your meat. Don't be scared to touch your meat. I play with my meat all the time. What? What? Because I said I play with my meat. Yes, I play with my meat. So we're going to play with this meat. Get a rub it in. Rub it in. Rub that meat in real. Ooh, yes, meat. Yes. See, look, this remind me. It's a big old meat. See, I don't like playing with no little meat. I play with that big Oh, shit. <laughs> Cooking, comedy, cuss, and cocktails. Matter of fact, y'all, here's a cocktail right here. Hey. Mmm. See, I like to cook because that's an excuse to have a cocktail. Okay, look, so I'm going to let this sit for a minute. First of all, I cleaned them with vinegar and lemon. Now I'm going to let them soak. I asked them to leave all my fat on. A lot of people like to cut their fat off. The fat is the best part to me. But see that? I bought a whole oxtail and had them cut it up for me. Okay, oh, look at that. Yes, yes, yeah. See how I'm rubbing it all? I'm rubbing it all in there. Yes, I am. I'm rubbing it in, touching my meat. All right, so now that I have those seasoned, I'm going to Take these oxtails and I'm about to flour each one of them. Because what you want to do is you want to sear your oxtail. You want to sear the juices into them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm about to sear the juices into my oxtail. You know, all black people use grocery bags. We clean and sterilize our meat trays. And what we do, we use them. We use them. Yes, we do. This is how I was raised. Period. <laughs> okay, now that I have these oxtails all floured, I'm about to put them in my grease. I got about a tablespoon of grease just to cover the bottom of the pan. So I'm going to put them in here and let them brown on each side. I'm going to brown them on all sides. Hold on. I'm going to brown them on all sides. I'm going to let them go and do their thing. That's what you do. Good old braised oxtails. You want to sear your oxtail for a sea game. You want to sear them. You see I have a small kitchen. You see I have all my pots and pans stacked up. But anyway, I'm going to sear them on both sides. No, on all sides. On each side. And then I'm going to turn them over and get all around there. That's what you have to do. So now I have some onions. I have some garlic here. I have some homemade 
chicken stock that I'm going to add a little, I'm adding a little brown, I'm adding a little brown sugar to it. I know y'all can't see my face, but hell, you don't have to. I know I look good. I know I look good. So I'm going to add some brown sugar to this. Okay, that's enough. And uh, I got my, I got my oxtails over there searing on each side. I got my onions. Now, normally, I will add green peppers and red peppers and all of that, but I don't have any. Sometimes, you just got to work what you want to work with. I didn't feel like leaving out today, so, but when you a real cook, your food will turn out no matter. Baby, you can make a meal out of whatever the fuck you got, and that is what I do. That's what I do. I'm a cook. I'm stirring up the sugar, brown sugar, into the chicken stock. I could actually put the garlic and the onions in here too, but it's gonna be. I'm gonna saute the garlic and onions a little bit before I throw them in. Pre also, preheat your oven to 350. Okay, look. You want to sear your oxtails. You want to you wanna look like that on your eyes. So you're not trying to cook them. You're just trying to sear them on every side. Oh. You just want to sear them on every side. And then I'm going to sear them on, on the side of the side. Hold on, let me get this. You see how they sear? That's how you want to sear your oxtails. And then you want to sear the side of your oxtails. On eat all sides. I'm telling you, just preheat your oven to 350. Do this. I'm telling y'all, this is the best braised I felt ever. Okay, my fourth game. You see how I had it turned on the sides? Because you want to cook it on all sides. See that? I want to cook it on all sides. And this thing will be cooked on all sides now. And I got some onions and garlic. And like I said, normally at this point I would have peppers in here too. But I'm gonna go ahead and just saute this a little bit. You see, you see those hot, big old oxtails? So all you do now is just, you wanna saute these a little bit so they're translucent. Look at that. Okay. I saute those just a little bit. I'm gonna add this. Chicken stock with brown sugar and all of that in there. You see that? Now you want to cover it up. So now I'm going to use the rest of the water to cover it up all the way up. Okay, I've covered it up. Now look, you could have had carrots, celery, all of that. I'm just going by what I've had, what I had in my house. So I got my oven set at 350. I'm going to cover this. I'm going to put it into the oven for about two and a half hours. Bam, y'all, I'm going to make some rice with some mashed potatoes on the side, have a little greens, maybe some hush puppies or some cornbreads. It is what it is. This is what we do with cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktail with comedian Michael motherfucking Allen. Peace. What up, what up, what up, my 4C gang? Can y'all see me? What up, what up, what up, my 4C gang? Welcome to another episode of Cooking with comedian Michael Allen. It is what it is. Listen, for C game, cooking, comedy, cussing, and motherfucking cocktails. I am just saying, I wish I could um, hold this up a little bit, but look, I got me some good old oxtails. Y'all can see that in the picture. Oxtails, rice, collard greens, hot water cornbread paste. Won't I do it? Come on, y'all. That's why I cook. Yes, I crack jokes. Yes, I fucking cuss. But, and yes, I have a good ass drink. Hennessy and cola, Fago cola. Don't judge me, people. What? Don't fucking judge me. I do me. Now, let me do a disclaimer before I start. My disclaimer is this. Hold on, I'm trying to get this light. Anyway, my disclaimer is this. If you're weak, you're timid, your feelings get hurt real easy. You don't, words hurt you. Something happened in your childhood where you just a punk ass bitch. <laughs> this ain't the channel for you. 
this is not the YouTube channel for you. Because I have no holes bar. Can't nobody hurt my feelings with words. And I can't hurt no. I'll, if you're going to be on this channel, I can't hurt your feelings either. Come on. I ain't never fought nobody up over nothing they said out their mouth. I fought because I felt like my persons was being violated. That's the only way. Anyway, y'all, look. These, oh, wait. Hold on. Oh my God, I should, look at them. Look at them oxtails, baby. What? And I, listen, my, my sister, Eva Philly Phil, she cut some of her fat off. You know what? I love all the fat on my damn. Cause let me just say this. I've realized that, you know, God bless me with beauty to look this good. So, you know, most, pe most people have a figure to make and I have a figure to watch. I don't know if y'all can see my shirt because I'm so far down. Cooking with Comedian Michael Allen. Please go subscribe, comment, like, share. Leave me leave me something so I know you watch. And watch the whole video. Don't scroll through like I do most people. You know, I always want to get to the end. Especially if it's a challenge just to see if they want. Okay, anyway, you got Let me say the prayer, y'all, because I'm loving this. I'm so hungry. I love Axel. I love king crab, I love fried chicken, I love chitlins, I love oxtails, I love... First of all, I like anything soul food. I, I, I embrace my blackness. I ain't got to be out there protesting Black Lives Matter. You know, how I know, you know how I can make Black Lives Matter? By me still being here. Bam! At 51. Okay. Dear Lord, Father God, I thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, all this turmoil in the world right now, Father God. But you know what? In the midst of my storm, you give me calmness. In the midst of my storm, Father God, I see the sunshine. Father God, I've never been worried. COVID-19 didn't worry me. Um, what they going through right now don't worry me, Father God. Because I know even before we got here, you were already there. You are. It, it was in your plan, Father God. And I do not question your plan, Father God. Let it be less about me and more about you, dear Jesus. I thank you right now, Father God, for this lovely meal I'm about to eat, Father God. I thank you for giving me the the money to be able to afford it. I thank you for giving me the ability to be, to be able to cook it, Father God. I thank you for waking me up this morning, Father God. I thank you for giving me 51 years on this earth. Because a lot of people didn't make it. A lot of people died at birth, Father God. But yet... <laughs> You let me live on. And besides all of that that you let me go through, Father God, you know another thing you did, dear Jesus? You said, let this man be gorgeous. And I thank you for my gorgeousness. Oh, Halashan, they not yet You did that, Jesus, just for me, just for me. Oh, okay. Thank you in your son Jesus' name, amen. I pray. Okay, don't judge me. Do not judge me. Let me, y'all don't know my relationship with God. Me and my father up above. <laughs> he knew I was going to do that prayer before I did it. He knew I was going to have this cocktail right after I said the prayer. <laughs> I love Jesus. Long as I got King Jesus, I don't need nobody else. I've been lied on. I've been cheated. Talked about. Mistreated. Long, long, long. That's Vicky Wine. She right here from Detroit. Okay, y'all. Oh. Ooh. I wish I, listen, hold on, I'm going to hold this, look, let me, I hope it don't fall, oh, it's, it's so tender, let me get close to the bone, look at that, look at that ox tip, that's a big ass ox, you know what, this reminds me of a gay guy that's burst, ox and tail, cock and tail, okay y'all, I am, I told y'all this ain't the channel for the week, the timid, the weak, the unsure, the insecure, don't, this ain't the channel. Oh my God, look, I love the fat, look at that, look. Oh, won't he do it? Holla Shahande, won't he do it? Y'all know what, I said I'm gonna eat rice without sugar and butter tonight. Anybody, oh my God. I was talking to a friend of mine today. I said, you know what? I don't know if I like sex better or food. It's like right on the same level. And people are like, how can you say that? I'm serious. I wish I, if I can put sex and food together, I would eat 
and eat you. I will eat and eat you at the same time. This ain't no PG challenge. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. Y'all have to look at how I, well, the little videos in there. I'm giving y'all a little tidbit of how I, oh my God. I don't want nothing else but the hot sales now. Oh, Jesus. See him? This is the shit right here I'm talking about. This is the shit I'm talking about. I had to get this out because I don't want to knock it over. Why in the hell would nobody want to know how to cook? When you can cook something that tastes this damn good. Look at them, look at them, look at them collard greens. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Uh. Well, no. Like, I want a cornbread bag. Y'all see how I can put meals all together? Oh my God! Let me get some of this wine. Won't you do it? See, when you have a good meal like this, this make you want to be married. This make you want to be married so after you eat, you can go do it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh my God. It's seasoned perfectly. Perfectly. And I did this all by my goddamn self. Didn't need no help. Well, my ancestor. My grandmother. My mother wasn't such a down south cook. My mama cooked, you know, chicken and spaghetti. But she learned from my grandma. Oh my God, I'm about to have an orgasm eating it. I'm really... Okay, y'all, let me shut up while I say something. Well, hell, this is my channel. I can say whatever the hell I want, right? But now listen to that. My mother... Oh my God, that rice was good. Just like that. So you know when you can cook good. So anyway, my mother who I'm named after. My name Michael. Her name was Michael. They call her Big Michael, they call me Little Michael. One day, one day we was walking down the street, somebody said, hey, Miss Michael, we both turned around. And then I had to tell her about, no, I'm joking. I ain't never considered myself a man. But anyway, oh my God, this is giving me, ooh, this is better than steak right here, baby. So, uh, I need. I should have warmed up some of uh, um, my sis' sauce. Eat, eat with Philly Field sauce. Eat it and eat it. So, my mother can cook her ass off. Well, she don't cook as much as I cook more for her. But, um, oh my God, y'all. Okay, hold on. Give me Give me a moment. Can I, can I digress here? Wow. What took me so long to make um, some, because they're probably expensive. That's because these motherfuckers are expensive. What I'm going to do here, instead of starting a GoFundMe account, I'm going to start a GoFoodMe account so I can keep these videos coming. So look. Mm. Only death can keep me from you. You. You and I will never part. Okay. My mother, my favorite dish from my mother is her fried chicken. I, listen, I done went to school for years, culinary art schools for years, and I still cannot master. I'm close to it, but I can't master my mama's chicken. But guess what the second thing is, and y'all might laugh when I say this. The second thing I love that my mama cooked so much is shake and bake barbecue chicken. I don't know how many people get shake and bake in their city. I love shake and bake. I'm going to do a whole video of me eating shake and bake barbecue chicken, um, shake and bake fried pork chop. I think them the only two they got. Now, oh my God. 
Yeah, okay. First of all, I seasoned the fuck out of this. Okay? See, I like fat. That's fat. I like... Mmm. So, let me tell you what I do. Okay, I don't want to eat nothing else. I just want to eat the oxtails. That's a... See, you know some shit good when you be like, fuck everything out. I'm going to just eat this right. Um. Oh. I just, I just got one. I think I need a cigarette. Oh, my God. Whoa. So, look, this is what I did. Instead of going into the grocery store where oxtails are ridiculously high, I went to the farmer's meat market and I bought a whole oxtail. I think the oxtail cost me $22. And I had them cut it up. Mm. Oh my God, y'all. Okay, okay. I, I know y'all think I'm playing. This is fucking delicious. Mmm, mmm. Oh my God. You know what? Call me black. I don't give a fuck. Yes, I'm sucking on the bomb. Hopefully, the way I'm sucking, I'll get a date. No, I'm joking, y'all. Okay. A many or two words been spoken through a smile. Inbox me. Facebook, Michael Walter. Okay, I'm joking. But I would love to be in a relationship. I'm not going to lie. But it takes a strong person to be able to handle me. I'm, I, talk, I talk a lot. Y'all see this. I have a gift for gab. You have to be able to deal with that. But even though I talk a lot, I know how to listen. Oh, I still can listen. Um, I've been working that out with my therapist. I met somebody today and I told him I was seeing the therapist. They was like, you ain't crazy, are you? I laughed for like 20 minutes when I got off the phone. <clears throat> we all a little crazy, ain't we? Oh. My God, when I tell y'all this is so good, I'm going to eat one more because I can't. Y'all help me get to a thousand subscribe, I mean, subscribers, I'll be, able to, I'll be able to record for quite a minute. Mm, 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 mm. Whoever say they don't like oxtail need their ass whooped. I'm serious. Whoever say, oh, I don't eat oxtail because you just going by the name of them. Baby, you a dumbass. And get your weak ass off my channel. See, we daring over here. We take chances. We step out on faith. Mm, mm. <laughs> oh my God. This is the best part about living by yourself because you don't have to... You don't have to go by what the damn menu your mama decided to cook. You cook your own shit. I can have oxtails every motherfucking night if I want to. Matter of fact, for the next three nights, I think I'm going to have me some damn oxtail. oxtail braised oxtail, oxtail soup, oxtail pancakes, oxtail cereal, oxtail shake. God damn it. I'm grown. I can do what the hell I want. Okay, y'all. I got to go in here when I edit this video. I have to make sure I edit my mama out. What the fuck you mean? You can do what you want. I'll come to... My mama will come to my house and tell me what to do. I swear. One time she came to my house and went off on me so hard. Because, see, my mama didn't raise no pump. And... And, and these people, oh, you don't need to talk your... You know, looking back, my mom probably... That was child abuse. It was nothing to be called a little bitch or a motherfucker. I kill your... My mom would pay the insurance man. And when the insurance man, the life insurance man, and when he left, she would sit us all... Me and all my sisters on the couch. She'd say, look, now let me tell you little motherfucker something. I'm paid up to next month so I can kill any one of y'all and get money. We used to hate to see an insurance, the insurance man coming. Like, here come this motherfucker. She about to threaten me. But, 
Mm, my God. My mother can come over here. One day she came over here and went off on me so tall that I got up and went in my room and got the rent receipt. And I came back and I said, oh, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, just looking at the rent receipt to make sure my name was on here because you really acting like this your motherfucking house, mama. Ma, I think it's time for you to go. No, if I had to talk, my mama would tear my house up if I said it's time for you to go. Oh, my God. I would, y'all be on, I can beat my mama physically, I feel, but mentally, that's what's wrong with you, parents. Now, you, you know, you scared, your kids ain't scared of you mentally or physically. I can whoop my mama physically because she's older now. But baby, every time I walk out my door, I'll be looking each way because I'm thinking she's up under the steps with a gun or she's hiding behind a tree. Because my mother is probably the poster child for a bitch I brought you in this world. I'll take your ass out. That's my mama. I swear I'm scared of her. I went over her house the other day and she showed me a picture of a guy being an old man. And so anyway, we watched that and then went on and she said something to me. I said, you see how that man beat that old grandson? And she said, you know what? She said, I wish one of my motherfucking children would. She said, I don't even understand. She said, if any of my kids, she said, ain't none of my kids got to commit suicide. You ain't got to swallow no pills. You ain't got to shoot yourself. They said, she said, bitch, all any one of you little motherfuckers have to do is raise your hand and hit me. She said, I guarantee you, you will be dead. It, you will die. You ain't got to, they got to pump your stomach. Bitch, you going to be dead. That's why I love my mother. Okay, you guys. I think this video is long enough. Love you guys, my 4C gang. Come on, y'all. Y'all been showing me love. My videos been watched. My subscribers going up. I'm trying to get to 1,000. I'm at like six. Six something, six sixty something, six fifty something. Come on, y'all. Share my video, please. Like it. Comment. Watch it. I need some watch time. Watch. I need you to watch. I need you to motherfucking watch. And if you want to know when I drop a video down and we can laugh and have a little chatty chatty moment like this, hit that bell down there. Hit that bell. You never know what you might get. All right, you guys, this is Cooking with Comedian Michael Allen, my 4C game, cooking, comedy, cocktails. Hold on, let me get some. Mm. And silly motherfuckers cussing. <laughs> All right, you guys, y'all have a blessed day. Thank you guys for tuning in. Like, share, comment. All that on this video, all right? All right, you guys, 4C, 4C gang, for what? For motherfucking life. All right, let me finish these oxtails. I have to reach up and cut this off. So what? It is what it is. All right, I love y'all. And love your damn self. <laughs>